Well, uh, we're in the, let's take a look at the roster real quick for George Mason. <laughs> Uh, Wava, Sumbrew D, and Doomy, all legend players. And, of course, Wava we've talked about. He's a um, pretty big player at the top of legend. He competed in tournaments sort of at the beginning of the year. Yeah, I mean, this guy's got a lot of practice under his belt. Takes the game very seriously. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've practiced with him before. I know he's practiced a lot with uh, with Firebat in, in the past. Yeah. And, um, just He's got a good head on his shoulders, and he was actually the captain of George Mason University. He was pretty much the driving force behind uh, their entire team for... You know, leading up to the to the point where they were eliminated in the top 16. Yeah, and let's take a look at their challenger. It is going to be wrecked. You, there they are, <laughs> three handsome gentlemen, Zumo Cutie. That's admirable, and Frodend with his Murlocs, all rank 25. <laughs> <laughs> rank 25 cast. You specialize in control warrior. That's my major. That's admirable. Wow. Major. How many years did it take you to graduate? <laughs> Troll ball I'm, there. <laughs> I'm still going. It's, I'm eight years in. <laughs> oh, there's us. Whoa! We are the Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's right. And you're going to get wrecked. Yeah. We he's, talk, want... he's talking to uh, George Mason. To you. He actually, yeah. he's talking to Weaver. There, apparently, there's a lot more on the line than just uh, winning this exhibition. Adam Bowl really wants to win. Oh, yeah. Specifically against Weaver. I'm not sure what happened. Is there something personal? No, he's just, I, I like competing with my friends a lot, so I can always rub it in their face yeah. when gotcha. they get beat. I mean, that's that's one of my favorite joys is knowing that I can hold that over my friends for uh, eternity. Mm -hmm. That is, until they beat me, which never yeah. happens. So, you know, I've never personally experienced a loss, so I don't know what that's like. Mm. Well, I can tell you all about it. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, it's unfortunate because you're tagged with two Two people who don't actually play normally at a very competitive level. Um, I th I think our practice went okay yesterday. Our practice went kind of okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I was, think so. I was the moral support guy. I was the guy that you put on the the, the sheet that's guy on team. <laughs> TJ so. really wanted to play Shaman. All right, well, we're getting the nod to uh, <laughs> get ready to queue up for the okay. next game. Um, we can assure you that our producers are going to come and turn off all of our monitors, so we won't be able to... to um, Cheat. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we, can <Yeah. laughs> we can see the game. I right wasn't here. even thinking about that. Nah, because we're going to put yeah. an iPad right here right. in front of well, us. Well, we're we're queuing up the rogue first. We can say that there is a there is a little bit of a delay, so we okay. can say that George Mason won't hear us. So we're queuing up the rogue. It's going to be really hard to ignore these very large screens in front of us. All right, no, all right, here we go. Just focus. All right, all so right, we're, we're going to like do this and not focus. Look. Heads down, focus. Let's yeah. go. All right, so uh, we're going to queue up the rogue now. Um, this rogue is. It's pretty cool, man. I think Rogue is actually an underestimated class in general. Yeah, I, I would totally agree with you. Yeah. Um, I mean, Oskaka was running world uh, Rogue at the World Championships. He was able to to you know take the whole thing down. <laughs> he had Rogue in his lineup. Yeah. It certainly has crept up a lot more in power recently. Uh, ours is a bit different. All right. And this is the matchup we were trying to avoid. But it's all right. <laughs> we, we knew that Warrior would beat our lineup. So yeah. we're just like, yeah, whatever. Okay, yeah. so you want to just concede here and go to game two? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this Great is a choice, Frodan. Let's go ahead and yeah. all right. let's, let's just go for <laughs> this it. This is a best of three, keep in mind. So it is Conquest. We have three decks that we can choose from. You don't want to best of three. keep Deadly Poison? I don't think so. I, I think in this matchup, what's going to be super important is uh, either trying to be able to get something on the board rolling and hope they don't have a weapon sure, sure, sure. or drawing Azure Drakes. Okay. Like, I think it's going to be... Sure. Our yeah. big point for this one. We made the assumption based off of George Mason's past matches yeah, yeah. that they played Patriot. That, that's the kind of rogue. There you go. Yeah, that's, there you go. <laughs> that's the end trick we wanted. So, so basically, uh, look this, at that tech. Uh, yeah. Oh my god! I forgot we put this in the deck. <laughs> 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 Whose idea was that, Admirable? Uh, definitely TJ's. <laughs> it wasn't mine. It definitely was, wasn't mine. <laughs> it was his. I was just like, actually, that's a great idea. <laughs> I just confirmed Admirable's crazy theory. All right, I think we want to draw with some more cards here. That's what yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I like... Now, uh, here's the thing, though. If he plays Accolade of Pain, we do have the that step. and the Backstab. Yeah, also, so if fun. he plays Armorsmith, we can do but the same play and we have a Dagger think, You think it's Page Warrior, though, Yeah, right? I think I like Daggering oh, up. There. I think it's better. <laughs> give, him the, right. give him the old hello there. Like, what are we going to draw on turn Don't three? Yeah, man. Come on. Thank, thank, thank you. There you go. <laughs> I did it for you. Thank, thank, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. They're not from Canada, though. Oh there! Oh, All right, that's a great you. draw. Oh, that's yeah, pretty good. Oh, okay, I'm I'm feeling blood mage backstab and then attack this guy. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah, let's do this. For sure, we don't. We also don't want to attack base for uh, battle rage value. Yeah, so that's so true. We want to start up. our assault all at the same time. So sorry, friend. Don't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's just go ahead and squelch him. There, <laughs> good, 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 good. You know, they don't see that in the spectator mode. 
think. They don't see Squelch. Oh, we didn't squelch him. We can totally see all the emotes yeah. he's unleashing right now. Yeah. Goodness, is George Mason University BM or what? It's actually kind of bad that we took till turn three to squelch. That's a very, very late. Our mechanics are a little bit off. Yeah. Low APM. It's a common noob so mistake. Many yeah. Choices. All right. So <laughs> we could actually if, hear if the he, emotes if, in our head. If they are patron, <laughs> they don't run like brawl and stuff. So if we can flood the board, we actually have a decent chance of yeah. doing it. Now yeah, that's the, if the they're downside. Patron. We still don't have confirmation. The downside is we have a lot of wisps. Here's the thing: yeah. we don't have a way to play around brawl anyway. Are we ever trying to play around it? Yeah. No. No. Should we? Should we sprint here? Um, I'm feeling. I'm feeling sprints pretty good. Yep. Yeah. We throw away our prep to make big summoning. Or we can read dagger, so that way we can. Nah. I don't. I don't really like read dagger. So here. So here are our major options. In turn five, right now, we don't have anything to do. We can't play summoning stone or five. So our options are on turn six, wait and go summoning stone, prep sabotage, or prep oil. Um, or prep oil, depending on which one's better. So if we're gonna go with the oil one, we want a dagger right now, but we can also dig with the fan eyes. The fan eyes will give us a three drop with the summoning stone. That would have to be on we turn six. We can also fan next turn though and read dagger. When we are we gonna play the sprint though? We we can play sprint on turn six, but I think d dicking with um, hmm. sprint now is good because you can pick up Azure Drake. Pick up Azure Drake. Pick up other options. Okay. Even like Van Cleef. Agreement. Well. Yeah. Gentlemen, yep. Let's do this. Ooh, there it is. Uh, what are we That's trying to pick up? <laughs> we pick both of them. Sick. Sap is really good. That gives us an immediate play if we pick up prep. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's no way they know we have something sound right. I mean, there is a way. There's just no <laughs> way they know. If, <laughs> there is a way if they like if they like that they ask all of our ladder opponents because <laughs> we've been playing this deck a lot. <laughs> Hey, Archmage's 44, what was Frodan playing the other day? But no, what was the guy you guys were playing against so yesterday? So many choices. What was his name? He had a really cool name. Um, He's out there somewhere. It was one. The, it was the first game that you played. It was against the Priest, I remember that. Yeah. Remember oh, yeah, that poor guy. <laughs> yeah. He, <got> right. <laughs> he was victim one. He was, he was our, the first guy. Oh, they're playing right into They're's Sabotage, man. Come on. It is kind of we just can't, just <laughs> we nothing can't to play sabotage. with. It. We can deadly poison sabotage. <laughs> we don't have a minion to, to do it on yet. We also only have one charge dagger. I know. Yeah. I, it still doesn't matter if it's one or two charges. Yeah. So maybe we just Drake here. Uh, I think I'm feeling the Drake. I think. Yeah. Definitely okay. want some more options. We're drawn to a prep. We can prep sabotage next turn with the summoning stone. She was not too shabby. The the shiv was a very interesting thing. It's like we eventually. We act, what happened was actually we deconstructed my Mali Ghost Miracle Rogue, and we were like, and we just had Shiv in there, and we're like, yeah, that's all right. Seems all right. Kills kills Leopard Gnomes and Morgan Infiltrator. Okay, that's uh -oh. bad news. That's really bad news. Uh oh, for us. my only was, job. I you said it was a patron. My warrior. only job. My read was wrong. That is really unfortunate. I don't have a minion out yet, so we can't really. Uh. Yeah, and I mean, this we could try to go for some summoning stone plays. The, the earlier we play it, the less chance he has of a brawl. Yeah, but I feel like we need something to actually do with it. Right. We don't really have anything to do with it right now. We, we, get can, rid of the we weapon. can also Drake number two and just equip Deadly Poison to avoid overdraw. You could Shiv sabotage to get rid of the weapon. Shiv and Van Cleef. <laughs> that, uh, gets, that also gets rid of the weapon. I actually don't mind Shiv and Van Cleef. Well, right Shiv, here. Deadly Poison, Van Cleef. Make it a 6-6? Six, six? Yeah, so that's out of range. So Are we worried about running out of damage? Like what about Phantom Knives and SI7 Agent? Force him to yeah, use this. Yeah, if it's a Control team. Warrior, Phantom yeah, Knives not that good. Okay, let's go. Probably better. There we go. And that Blade Flurry will mean that we want to dagger up at some point. But we want to get rid of this weapon. We can re-dagger next turn by yeah. doing so. So on turn 6, I mean, Shield Maiden's a big play here. Mm. Um, Justicar. Justicar. We can easily handle either one of those right now. What if he just a cars and doesn't attack? If he just a cars, maybe we should just concede so we don't give him the information that it's so broke. <laughs> we're not winning. That's the case. God. All if right. He just well, a cars, we're gonna kill him. Mm. Wow, this is really interesting. Does he have coin? Oh, he coin. Here, here, here. Oh, oh no. Yeah, we're okay with that. Oh. Yeah, we're totally fine with that. So now we have Drake. Oh wait, can we just sap this with the summoning stone? That's what I'm thinking. Is he gonna? Uh, we have to hit, attack with dagger. With the yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Yeah, it's fine. All right, here we go. Any, any, like two, three, like sparring partner. We've been getting a lot today. How about Mad Bomber. Uh, That's pretty whatever. good. 
Let's we want to slice this dagger. I think yeah, so. Let's go yeah. ahead. Well played. Oh, he said well played. <laughs> we squelched him. <laughs> we squelched him on the tablet, but we can hear it in the. Uh... Oh, oh, the sabotage! The sabotage! That's so sick. What do we combo with? We, we can technically wait on this. Nah. I don't think. Nah. Well, you, you can. We can. Man, if we had to weapon up, we could deadly sabotage Van Cleef. That would have been really good. Yeah, that would. Here's the thing: if we just let him kill a minion, and then he plays like Baron Geddon or something, we oh, can kill right. the Baron Geddon and the Gorehound. So, so we just mm -hmm. play Drake. I think we play Drake. The yeah. dagger. Oh, we're gonna be at nine or ten cards. Nine we're cards. Nine we're at nine cards. cards. Right so just yeah. Oh hit. my gosh, this is so perfect. They're Dope. about to get cracked. We have a Dope. lot. Of, okay. We so, have a lot of bursts so too. The reason why we play summoning stone rogue is that it's almost the same as by the teacher if you think about it. Like if you do a bunch of prep, sure zero mana stuff comes out, but it's, it's either target dummy which protects it, but or it's scarier because it, it represents so much a much bigger threat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hang on. Do we have lethal here if we draw prep? So one, we have a lot of damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not quite. We need a creature quite. to. Okay, we're definitely playing deadly poison. We know this, right? We can also shiv. We want to draw to something. So I think we go. We have nine mana, so we have <coughs> Van Cleef, sabotage, poison. We don't have to. We don't have to sabotage mm. this. I mean, we can. I think we definitely have to sabotage yeah. this. Yeah. Um, I, we might want to save Deadly Poison to proc oil. Let's go with the shift. Turn. Let's go with the shift. Yeah. This this fills out our mana nicely. We're going to get a 6-6 six, six Van Cleef. We're blowing up his stuff. We're blowing up his stuff. Dude, this tech, man. This next level tech. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you you are a job. jerk. <laughs> and now he has to uh, shield well, main armor of Shield Slam. What? <laughs> Oh, I know what he's playing. He's playing Fatigue Warrior. This is great news he's for us, I think. Specifically fatigue, just fatigue Warrior is great Warrior. news? Okay. Oh my god! Abyss. Okay. Abyss? Let's talk about this turn. I'm feeling... We're definitely playing a Summoning Stone. Okay. Let's go ahead and jam this out. So, probably just we Abyss. Can, we can... Attack, redag? Eviscerate? What about Poison, Attack, what about Blade oil? Flurry, oh, okay. Redagger? And then next turn... We go. You want to take ten? Eviscerate. That's yeah. a that's a ten four that can't attack us. No, we, but it can attack the creatures. We, get to, we eviscerate this. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, you yeah, want to okay, eviscerate? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sure, so sure. it's deadly poison. Let's find out what we get. Okay. Our squire's good that's for that. Really sharp sword oil. Wow. So eviscerate the ten four. Man, maybe we just don't blade flurry at all. But. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh think my God. that is sick. That's so funny. That you know what, sick. man? Too soon. I don't think we. I don't think we flurry. No, no, no. I don't think we flurry either. I think we just say go, deal yeah. with it. Next turn we do can, something. Next turn we can oil, oil flurry. Yeah. Yeah. And that'll Precisely. probably be that'll probably be a win, unless he has Harrison himself. What if I would have fatigued that play Harrison? Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Does yeah. make sense. Yeah. He, has, he probably yeah. has, like, Death Lord or some. He has, he has Death Lords. He might even we have Reno the, Jackson. We got the sap for the Death Lord. They got to have something now. We're threatening lethal. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so sap oil oil that adds an extra 12 damage. So we already have a 3 damage dagger. 15, 16, 17, 18. Well, there's also, there uh, there's also Flurry, so. There's also a chance that the oh, yeah. Tinker Sharp Sword more. lands on one of the four drops. We could get a Corcron Elite from the uh, we could. Tinker Sharp Sword. Is there oil. anything else that's four, yeah. four mana that... Hey, it, we can't attack. get it anymore, though. We might have just won the game, boys. Actually, this guarantees that we have Oil Land <laughs> on a minion that can attack. That's game, boys. <laughs> is it? Oh, oh prep. Okay, prep, is prep. Just overkill yeah. as much as possible. Yeah, oil. Double, double oil. Oh, and then you. oil again. And then hit face. Oh, my God. Oh, my. That's wait, wait, what wait, I'm wait, talking wait, about. Wait, wait, wait. Hello. Fan before you do it. Oh, yeah. Fan before you do it. And then, and then hit the tra kill the just a car. Oh, good call, great call, Frodan. And then set. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. GG boys. And that.